so awesome to uh, catch up with you, Coach. Um, obviously, last night, you know, a lot of lot of emotions. The team played. So, I mean, we we talked about the the start of the game, and it was like you couldn't have drawn it up any better. Fourteen nothing. You know, brick wall defense. I, I just want if you could speak about Coach Dutcher having those guys ready to play last night after what was such an amazingly long, fruitful run for the Aztecs uh, last season. Anytime you open a season, there's that anticipation, excitement, sometimes extra energy that can kind of hold you back a little bit. And I think what Coach Dutcher and his staff were able to do with our players were contain it, allow them to savor, enjoy the, the moment, and reflect back on what they accomplished. And it was an incredible feat. And then move on and do what you're supposed to do, play a game, play our opening game. And uh, they were out of the gate, phenomenal, jumped out the 13, 14 and nothing lead. And I think some fans thought we might shut them out for a half, but that, that <laughs> looked happen. Like it. <laughs> and, but it, it was, a, it was a good, it was a good beginning. And I think showed uh, potential new players are going to have to step up and help, uh, but we're going to have a very, very good team. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, Coach, just you know, every team is a little bit different, and even though there are familiar faces, the mix seems different this year. What were some of your your first impressions, at knowing that the things will evolve as the season goes along, but what you saw last night that, um, that you liked and, and maybe that you think that the team could do better at? Our staple, once again, will be our defense. Uh, our defense will create offense, and I think you'll see us go on stretches where we go on 10, 12 to nothing runs on folks because of how well and effectively we can guard. Um, that will continue to be the forefront. We're going to miss uh, that veteran group of guys that left, and I think people will appreciate as the season goes on what Nathan Mensa brought to the team with his defensive shot-blocking intimidation as well as the ability as the ability to switch off and guard any man from the point guard to the to the post player. So, you know, that'll be different. We don't have that shot blocker, but we're gonna have to keep people in front of us a little bit more, not let them get to the rim quite as easily. But I like our team. Uh we need to uh get Darian Tramel back. I think if this had been uh, a game to win a conference championship he probably would have played. So He's close to being back. So, you know, we'll be led by the veteran group of guys. Uh, Damien and Lamont at the guard, Micah Parrish, and uh, Jaden uh, Ledee. You saw a glimpse of what he's going to be. He'll he, be he looked like a star last night. I hate to overreact to one game, but, I mean, he looked phenomenal. The way he was taking it to the hoop and drawing fouls, that, that seemed like someone who could be a, a conference player of the year type candidate. Yeah, he, he will be. He's going to get a lot of touches. And I think as it goes on, uh, we'll find ourselves, if we go three possessions without a basket, we'll make sure that Jaden gets a touch and gets a touch in the low post, and he'll either get a basket, get fouled, get to the free throw line, and shoot two free throws. Talking to the uh, legendary coach of the Aztecs, Steve Fisher, here on Ben and Woods this morning. And, uh, Coach, you know, we spend a lot of time talking about the local ball club here, the baseball team, and we talk about culture. We talk about team building, right, Build, actually building a team that can go out and, and compete. And, you know, I think there are certain aspects – where the Padres have fallen short in that department. Um, culture is, is often mentioned. Now, that's in no short supply over at San Diego State, Coach, with the culture that Brian Dutcher has established in in what is a different game now than even when you when you coached, right? The NIL money for, for players. He recruits a certain type of players. They all buy in. I, I guess I'm asking you, Coach, how does one do that? How, how, how can, can the local ball club learn from what the Aztecs do as far as building a culture? I think Coach Dusher put it perfectly. This is 24 years in the making. And I think that continuity, consistency, familiar faces for those that have been here and gone and now come back to watch. We saw Jamal Franklin sitting on the front row. Uh, he wants to be back. He's, he, he knows the coaches are, are, are those 
that coached him. So I think that's a huge piece to the puzzle. And then, you know, you, if you're going to complain about all the things that, that people say are wrong about uh, college sports, you shouldn't be in the business. Okay. You have to ad- adjust, adapt, do your own strategy in terms of how you, uh, how you implement it. And we've done that to, I think, uh, a really, really good point. The NIL is here, and uh, we're participants, and we need to be able to continue to do that uh, to grow the program. But it's not just about how much money can I get. Uh, you know, players want to win. Players want to be, be taught. Players want to get better. Players want to be in an environment like you saw last night. So all those things wrap up into what San Diego State basketball has. Interesting that you mentioned the Padres, Joe Musgrove, who's become a friend, uh, was at the game last night. And I sat and talked with him. We had our little grandson, Max, go over and take a picture with him. Uh, he was excited to watch this tip off. And, you know, he's also excited about his season to come. And we all wait to see who the manager will be. Coach, when it comes to the the NIL we were just talking about, um, well, you know, obviously San Diego State's not going to be on the level of a, a, a Duke or some of the other programs in terms of the money that they can raise. Saw so Keyshawn Johnson left for Arizona reportedly for uh, you know six figures of, of NIL money, and and the Aztecs are working on it with the the Mesa Foundation and and um, you know what's going on right now. I'd imagine having a legendary ex coach that they probably are asking a lot of you in terms of, you know, having some conversations and shaking some hands and going to some events and things like that to try to help with the uh, the NIL fundraising. I told everybody when I when I turned over the reins to Coach Dusher that I'm here to help in any way, shape, or form possible. I don't know that I have a title. I call myself a utility man. I do a little bit of everything for anybody that needs assistance. And... Uh, I take great pride in that. I have a a immense amount of love and respect for San Diego State University, the basketball program, the city, and I want to continue to be a part of it. So anything that that they ask me to do, I'm going to try to do to to assist in any way possible without getting in the way. See, I I can tell that, uh, you know, they ask him a few times, can you uh, help us out a little bit? And uh, things are going really well. Just looking ahead, uh, BYU is the next game in Provo. Uh, I know you had your struggles going up there uh, a few times. It's not been the happiest of houses for the Aztecs over the years. Any thoughts on uh, on the upcoming matchup later this week? I'll, with great anxiousness and excitement, watch it. We're <laughs> going to go over to Mark's house. He turns 45 on Friday night. It'll be a good birthday present for him. So, uh, it's tough to win anywhere on the road. And it's tougher when you go to altitude against uh, a good basketball program, and that's what BYU is. Uh, I haven't watched much film on them. They had it on the locker room prior to our game last night. So our coaches will be prepared, our players will be prepared, and I believe we'll go up and uh, play really, really good basketball, and uh, hopefully that will lend itself to a victory. Coach, great catching up with you as always. Uh, Go Aztecs, and it should be another fun season. Thank you. Appreciate being on with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Coach. There he is, Coach Steve Fisher, uh, always giving some uh, good thoughts on San Diego State basketball.